Section 2 Using the Join, Fillet, Chamfer, Measure, and Offset tools The Join tool allows you to connect one or more lines together to create a polyline. The Fillet tool allows you to create a radius where two lines meet in a corner. The Chamfer tool allows you to create a chamfer where two lines meet in a corner. The Measure tool places a temporary dimension line which allows you to measure while in CAD without leaving an actual dimension line. The Offset tool allows you to offset one line from another. So let's go check these out in Cabinet Vision. In Solid we'll go to CAD and in order to illustrate this what we're going to do is we're going to use the Line tool and we're going to draw, draw four separate lines to create a rectangle. Now the concept when I say four separate lines to draw a rectangle is important especially when you compare it to a polyline. We'll use a polyline tool to also create a rectangle. Now the difference between this rectangle here and this rectangle is that this rectangle is actually a single entity. It's a polyline so it is all four lines are connected together. Nothing is separate. If I want to pick up one of these lines and move the line by itself I cannot do it. However, this rectangle that I drew with four separate lines I can. I could pick that line up and move it off. Now I'm going to undo that so that, that line appears back where we want it. What the Join tool does when we choose Connect is it will allow us to click on this part and then click on this part and now these two lines are joined. And as I can go around, click on all four lines, I have now created this as a polyline. So if I pick it up and move it, it will move around so let's discuss this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the undo command and restore this back to being four separate lines. I'm going to show you how I did this one more time. We'll go to the connect tool. We will click on this line here and highlight it. Now the trick is to hold down the control key and then click on the next line. And while I keep holding the control key down, I will click on the remaining lines that I want to create into a polyline. So what we have now is this is a polyline just like the other one by using the join tool to connect the lines. So let's go ahead and delete those. And now we're going to go back, we're going to choose the fillet tool. And again, we're going to use the line tool. We'll draw a rectangle. Now with the fillet tool, the fillet tool allows you to create a radius. Now in this case, I've got a value here for my radius of 5. I'll change that one to 2. And I'll click on the first line which in this case is that line here, and then hold down the control key and click this line. And it put a two inch radius on the corner of that line. So now let's go back, let's make that a five, hold down the control key and click on the next line. So you should be able to clearly see that I've got a larger radius here than there. This time we're going to make it 15 inches. Now we're going to control click on this line. So now we've got three different radiuses and we could even put another radius size on this final corner here. And that's using the fillet tool. The fillet tool allows us to create a radius where two lines meet to form a corner. So let's undo all of that. So I'll hit the undo function four times. So now we've returned it to a rectangle so that I can use the same rectangle
to demonstrate the chamfer, which actually works under the same concept. We're going to put a 10 inch chamfer. So what we do here is we click on the first line we want to start with, hold down the control key and click on the next line, the next line, and then the next line. And of course if I wanted to make a different size chamfer, I can do that simply by changing the chamfer length here. The measure tool we're going to use next places a temporary dimension line which allows you to measure while in CAD without leaving an actual dimension line. Now why that's important is because let's say I needed to verify this dimension here. I could go and grab the dimension tool and I could go ahead and uh, place a dimension but then that's a permanent dimension. I, if I don't, if I only need it that dimension temporarily, I have to afterwards come back and delete that dimension if I don't need it. So by using the measure tool we can actually come in here and measure that dimension and it tells us over here on the right side that the, the distance for that is 30. It even tells us what the horizontal vertical distance is as well as what the angle is. It's a very nice feature because then when we're done we can move on to something else and that will disappear. So that was simply the measure tool is simply a temporary dimension field to show us what the di distance between two points are. The next tool we're going to use is the offset tool. It's actually a very nice tool, uh, very convenient. Let's use the undo here to get rid of some of these uh, changes to this rectangle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the offset tool. Now the offset tool, what it can do in the case of this line here that we have at an angle, is I can pick that line and I could tell that I want to move it two inches away, directly away from where it is and place another line. So let's go grab the offset tool. And then once we have selected the offset tool, we click on the line that we wish to offset. Now what you should notice here is that I, I have at this point picked that line up. And I can freehand place it. I could use my smart lines. I can use my hot point markers to position that line wherever I want it to be. Or I could simply use the offset field over here on the left hand side and type in where I want it. In this case we'll just go ahead and use the the hot point marker. Conveniently enough it's five inches. So we'll put that line there and we'll come back to the offset tool again and pick that same line again and as you can see, just by using the, the hot point marker, which will allow me to position that at a 5 inch unit all the way, pick that line again and keep going. Or if I wanted to do it a little bit differently, if I wanted to do a, a different line, let's say, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's say I want to do this line, so we'll go grab the offset tool, we'll grab that line, and this time what we'll do is we'll just type in how far we want it to go. So I might want it to go down 12 inches. And I could keep picking it up, pick up the, the new line that I create, and just simply type in 12 and hit enter. So that's a very convenient way to accurately and evenly space out several lines by using the, the offset tool.